according to the calendar, spring is about two weeks away. That's our story and that's what we're sticking with. So the good news is it's not too late to get an e-bike. Even better news, it's not too late to get a crazy good deal on an e-bike. We're going to learn a little bit later about some of the deals they have here at Crazy Lenny's e-bikes on Odana Road. But first, you've maybe thought about acupuncture or chiropractic care for yourself, but how about for your pet? Right now, we're meeting with Dr. Lynn and Dr. Andrea. They're with Harmony Vet Acupuncture and Spine Care. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Tell us about your veterinary center. So we have the only freestanding veterinary holistic hospital in Madison that focuses completely on holistic care. Dr. Um, Dom Mogilevsky and I opened the practice in 2012. And um, Dr. Andrew and I are both veterinarians, and we have a combined, uh, combined experience of 45 years in veterinary medicine, 30 of which is in holistic care. And our practice focuses mostly on acupuncture and spinal manipulation, which is similar to chiropractic care in humans. But we also integrate in a therapeutic laser and holist uh, herbal medicine and yeah, you use a traditional Chinese Sorry. veterinary medicine, which right. I'd never heard. Of course, we've heard right. of tra traditional Chinese medicine, right. but right. not mm -hmm. sticking the word veterinary there is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so Chinese medicine includes four different branches. It's acupuncture, herbal medicine, Tui Na, which is a medical massage, and food therapy, which is internet. It's a food, so we incorporate all that into our practice. Sounds neat. Wow, I love it. Well, Thanks. I love that you're ladies that are doctors that are taking control. <laughs> uh, so what makes you different from other veterinarians out there? Well, we both have had extensive postdoctoral training and certification in acupuncture, Chinese medicine, and spinal manipulation. Um, we offer holistic care, which means we look at the animal as a whole. Mm -hmm. So in addition to doing a physical exam for their presenting problems, we'll also um, discuss nutrition, um, behavior, environment, exercise. Um, oh, and, go ahead. And another difference is that our medicine is herbal-based. Okay. And all those things really do make a difference. It's yeah, not just really uh, that they ate something funny or they hurt their knee or whatever. Right. Yeah. Right. I like that you look at the whole picture. So let's talk about that whole picture. What are some of the conditions or, sure. or things that people are coming in with and that you can treat? Okay. So we treat a huge variety of, of uh, patients and conditions. Um, we see a lot of chronic disease, so uh, arthritis, renal disease, um, kidney disease, uh, allergies. We also treat cancer patients for support. We see patients that have problems with Western medicine, like nausea from chemotherapy, so we can help that. Mm -hmm. We also see acute injuries, like back pain, or paralyzed dogs. And we see canine athletes, so agility dogs, or um, hunting dogs to help with performance. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of old senior pets that just want better comfort and quality of life. Now so. you have a, a page, a pet page, or a story page, where you can uh -huh. click and read about uh -huh. sure. uh, a dog, what it's going through, and how your treatments affected its its comfort or its rehabilitation right. or its, its curative properties, I yeah. guess. So it's called the Animal Stories page. That was kind of neat. And you weren't kidding. I've seen pictures of dogs, cats, bunnies, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. and horses. Yeah, and I'm sure yeah. probably even more than that. Well, and with that said, you know, when it comes to our animals, there are children, you know? Yeah, so I yeah, love that you so take yeah. such great care of them. Yeah. So when it comes to stopping by for our first time to your clinic, what is that like? Well, what we do is we have the referring veterinarian uh, send, of, uh, send over their medical records prior so we can review them. And then when you enter our clinic, we've created a, a quiet atmosphere. We have rug covered floors for better traction for the older pets. We have couches and beds for the animals to lay on. We play calming music. And all of this is to put the animal at ease. Um, then we have hour long appointment to go over our questions, the owner's questions, and then we come up with an individualized treatment plan um, based on our examination. Um, but because we do see a lot of chronic conditions, we do um, often have to have several visits in, or in order to maximize their improvement. And then once we reach that optimal level, we'll set up follow-ups so that the animal's um, at their best. I'm going to say that's one thing that does set you apart as well, is when I saw pictures of your waiting room and your treatments room, they look like a living room. Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, that's going to put yeah. not just the pet, but maybe the, the pet parent yeah. at right. ease as well. Right. We're about out of time. If someone does want to get an appointment, how, how quickly does that happen? Because you mentioned a referral. Do you need one? Yeah, so you don't need a referral, but we always like to have um, interaction with the veterinarian that's in charge of their regular medicine, just, just so we are on the same page. It takes about sure. two weeks right now to get an appointment, but we always have room for urgent care patients like acutely paralyzed dogs. We'll always yeah. get them in. All right. Well, Dr. Lynn and Dr. Andrea, thank you so much. Thank you. Harmony thank you. Vet Acupuncture and Spine Care. They're on Monona Drive, and we're at Crazy Lenny's E-Bikes. <laughs> we'll be right back.